How would you assess the running game through the first two games, and what do you guys want to do to keep uh, getting better in that regard? Uh, up front, keep being physical. Keep doing what they're doing. Keep communicating. Uh, just being able to talk to those guys, ID the front, uh, being able to talk to Miro next beside me, and getting the receivers on the same page. Charlie? How do you think yourself and the, the other running backs have done in terms of pass uh, protection? Uh, we still need to work on uh, some little things technique-wise. But just knowing who we have in our assignment, uh, like I said, communicating uh, up front is very key uh, because they do a lot of different things. You know, of course, we play different teams that do this and that. But uh, I feel like we got the communication part done. Uh, knowing who, ha- uh, knowing who, who we have uh, is the most important thing. Uh, but just getting there and our technique needs to uh, be cleaned up. How much of success in the running game is dependent on the running backs or how much is the O-line or is it y'all have to be in sync together? Uh, <laughs> I would say that, I mean, it just comes from all of us doing what we need to do and how it needs to be done. Um, uh, of course, uh, you know, I get in and we get the situations done and Jace gets in and Jam gets in and all the backs just know what they need to do and the O-line as well, no matter who's in. Rodell, do you guys notice when there's Alabama football alums criticizing you on social media after the game, and does that motivate you guys in any way? Uh, no, nah, I mean, me, honestly, I don't pay attention to none of that. Uh, I don't know if anyone else does, but we try to keep a positive uh, head when, you know, coming to coming away from a week like that. Uh, we try to look forward. You know, our goals are still the same, um, ACC, National Championship, but, you know, we look at uh, at one week at a time, and uh, we're going to progress from, the, from that. Thank you.